Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday the 27th <laughs> of January. But anyways, today is the showing of my hashtag movie and stitch project number one <laughs> for the A movie and the announcement of my B movie title. <laughs> yeah, I should have planned this because now it sounds like I have no idea what I'm talking about but I kind of don't. <laughs> Anyways, this, if you haven't heard of it, this is a, like a collab kind of thing that I'm doing with a few people. Um, I'm sitting on the floor. <laughs> um, Terry, Aaron Joy Podcast, Lee at Lee Mac, Valerie at Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet, 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 I always forget that. <laughs> That'll be linked below. And also some other people have been joining in. Kayla from Mama Mama Kayla, Reggie from J Hook Crochet, who else did I see doing it? I can't remember. I did make a playlist, and you can find it in my playlist section. <laughs> um, and every time I find someone's video who made a video for the hashtag moving stitch event collab thingy, <laughs> I uh, I throw it in there. So if you want to check out everybody's videos, just go to that playlist and uh, check them out. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, two weeks ago when we announced it, we uh, shared our movies, and my A movie was... The Absent Minded Professor. <laughs> I have it pulled up here. You can watch it on uh, Disney Plus if you have that subscription. And I think it's also on YouTube. If I can find it on YouTube, I will link it in the description box below for you guys to check out. I'm pretty sure I've seen it on there. But anyways, it is a really good movie. <laughs> it's an old classic movie. Uh, I guess saying old is not that nice because there's people from that time too. But it's a 1961 movie. It's a Disney movie. It is in black and white as you can tell from this. I don't know if they ever made a colorized version of it. But it's the original story of Flubber which was a movie in the 90s. Uh, 97 starring Robin Williams. It's really good. It's also got, uh, what's her name? Mar Marisha. I can't remember her name. But the girl that plays is Betsy, and it's really funny. I always loved her, too. Anyway, <laughs> uh, this one is from 1961, like I said. And I got some stuff written down here because I can't remember everything. But it stars uh, Fred McMurray, Nancy Olsen, Keenan Wynn, and Elliot Reed. Uh, Fred plays as the professor, <laughs> the absent professor. Nancy plays as Betsy, uh, his love interest. Elliot Reed plays as her love interest, a, a guy named Shelby, who's like trying to steal her from uh, the professor. And then Keenan Wynn plays as the bad guy who's trying to steal the Flubber invention. But it's not called, well it is called Flubber, but the movie's not called Flubber. Anyways, it's a really good movie. All my movies are going to be family friendly because I have a four-year-old, almost five-year-old. <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want to think about that. But, um, so most of the movies I watch are family friendly ones. I do love horror movies and romantic movies and all that, but I just, I have to watch them when he's not home. And, um, I love family friendly. So this is a good movie. I, uh, I made a thing <laughs> for this. Okay, let me straighten it out because it's curled a little. I gotta figure out how to straighten them out good. But I made this to show through this year for my movies. So this movie, I give it a five star rating. <laughs> I tried to make a, um, uh, a marquee, but my stars came out bigger than I thought, so they can't go in a line. They're just kind of pinned on there. And they're curly. I gotta try to straighten them. I just made the stars today. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's just a crocheted marquee, and I got the stars pinned on there. But out of a zero to five star rating, I give this one a five star rating. <laughs> but I gotta fix them. They're a little messed up, but that's okay. Anyways, I love this movie. So the basis of this story is there's an absent-minded professor, and, um, He's trying to invent something. I don't even think he actually knows why he's trying to invent because he accidentally invents Flubber. And he's kind of obsessed with his work, but I don't think he realizes how obsessed he is with it. It's just his passion. But he's so obsessed to the point where he, he's dating this lady and they're engaged to be married and he's missed their wedding three times uh, because he's so into his work. And he's also a professor at a college that is kind of in the slumps, uh, financially speaking. They owe money to the guy, um, Mr. Hawk, I think his name is, and he's played by Keenan Wynn. So um, they need money to save the school from closing. And Mr. Hawk has a son who uh, I absolutely love the boy that plays his son. I didn't write down his name. I should have. But he uh, he saw like stereotypic 1950s and 60s uh, football boy. Like the way he looks and talks and everything. I just I just loved it. This movie was just great. <laughs> but um, so uh, they're threatening to close the school down because uh, they owe the students some money. The professor ends up accidentally 
making flubber by he gets like knocked out and his concoction like cooks a certain way and it becomes this new substance that's like a new energy form and it's real bouncy <laughs> like flubber and uh, instead of losing its bounce like if you throw a bouncy ball and it just bounces 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 and then rolls off it continues to grow energy and bounce further and further and more and more until it stopped once he figures out that he invented this uh, new substance, he's trying to like tell everybody and nobody's believing him, especially Betsy, because she's so mad at him for missing their weddings, <laughs> which is understandable. And at the same time that she's mad at him, Shelby's trying to sneak his way into her life to, uh, you know, get her, <laughs> to have her. But um, and he almost succeeds too. But while uh, he's trying to show Betsy, he's trying to prove to Betsy that he did what he's been trying to do all this time. Um, and she's ignoring him because she's mad at him, which is totally understandable. <laughs> but in the process, a lot of funny things happen. One of which is the iconic scene of um, him helping. <laughs> it's kind of cheating, I think. Helping their horrible basketball team because their basketball team is really bad at sports. Um, win their like championship so he puts the flubber on their shoes and makes them be able to do all these eccentric crazy jumps to get the ball in and i think the the graphics and the editing is so good for the time because usually when you see movies you know from the 60s and beyond it you can always spot like wires and stuff but in this movie it it just looks so cool i think they did such a good job at um doing the overlay editing and stuff and the basketball scene was the best scene in the whole movie i think because it's just so funny to see you know, like all these people are bouncing around way higher than anyone can ever jump and everybody's like excited because it's happening but no one questions why. <laughs> but um, so they end up winning and uh, later they, he ends up putting it on the bad guy, the Mr. Hawk, and uh, he's bouncing outside and it's just so funny and he can't get down and they're, the whole town's there trying to figure out how to get him to quit bouncing and then they finally get him down by getting the high school football team to tackle him and it's just, it's just funny. It's definitely a great family movie. I didn't watch this with Jesse. He wasn't here when I watched it, but I'm probably going to watch it again with him because I think he will think, think it's hilarious. And I think he'd also love the new flubber. I'm pretty sure he watched it before, but he was a lot younger, so he probably doesn't remember it. But, um, yeah, it's a great movie. I loved it. Highly, highly recommend. Five out of five stars. <laughs> I gotta fix this. I had this idea, and it just didn't come out the way I wanted it to, but it still counts. So, five out of five stars. Great movie. Again, if I can find it to watch for free on YouTube, I'll link it below. And it is on Disney+. Plus. But yeah, so my project. What I decided to do, I talked about it in the last video, which I'll link in the be below too, the introduction and all that. Um, I wanted to make uh, like granny squares, or squares, they're not really granny squares. And then I was going to put, uh, make the granny the squares <laughs> in colors to do with the movie. And then um, do appliques on the squares that have something to do with the movie. So... I did use a square pattern from someone else. I'll link that below. I can't remember off the top of my head <laughs> what, who it was by because I made this uh, like a week and a half ago. But uh, the applique I made myself. So this is what I made. <laughs> so I took this from the movie uh, poster, which I'll insert over here. Uh, it's got yellow background and this blue color is kind of in the poster. And then I made a basketball because of the basketball scene. <laughs> And uh, I tried to do some top stitch in there to make it look like the lines on a basketball. And it doesn't look the greatest, but it still looks like a basketball. So I'm happy with it. But uh, yeah, so this is my A movie, which is absent, The Absent-Minded Professor. And um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. So but with it being 26, it'll be five rows of five squares. And uh, the 26th, the, the last movie, the Z movie, that's going to be hard. <laughs> I'm going to do the border colors in the Z movie. That's my plan. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so there's my first square. I think I did pretty good on it. <laughs> I'm happy with it. I like the colors. I think it fits with the movie poster really well. And uh, the basketball scene was the best part of the whole movie, I think. Although I did love the whole movie. Um, I think it was just a good movie. Good family friendly movie. But, yeah, there's my square. So that's my first uh, finished part of the whole collab thingy. <laughs> But yeah, uh, what else was I going to say? Okay, my next movie, my B movie for hashtag movie and stitch is going to be another family friendly movie. I didn't say that like a thousand times. They're all going to be family movies. But it is a newer one. It's from the 90s. I did not write down what year it is. I think it was 94 or 95. I can't remember. But anyways, it's called The Big Green. <laughs> so it's a soccer movie and it's got that uh, iconic red-headed kid off of... Um, the Sandlot. I forgot his name. I just watched this last night. I mean, never watched it. <laughs> but I can't remember anything from, uh, like, the people. But by the time I do that video, I'll have it all written down on my notebook. <laughs> but, 
but uh yeah and it's also got steve gutenberg in it which i absolutely love steve gutenberg <laughs> i have always loved him since i was a kid because my mom liked him so i grew up watching like cocoon and um three men and a baby and what else is he in what was that movie Roxanne and Zeus, I think, or Zeus and Roxanne. I can't remember which way it goes. But pretty much any, any movie with Steve Gutenberg in it is a good movie because I love him. He's so cute. <laughs> He's probably an old man now. That stinks. <laughs> but uh, I've always loved him ever since I was a little kid. And it's because my mom always loved him too. But, um... Yeah, so I love it because he's in it, <laughs> and uh, it's also got the same little, uh, another little boy, well, they're, they're men now, but in the movie, they're little boys, so it's got the red-headed kid off of the Sandlot, and it's also got the kid that plays a squints off of the Sandlot in it, and it's just funny to see them in a movie, and it's around the same time period as the Sandlot came out, which I also love that movie. I love that movie a lot, but anyways, that's my B movie. It's going to be The Big Green, uh, and it's on Disney+, Plus. yeah. I watched it on Disney Plus. <laughs> I was to, I couldn't remember if it was on Netflix or Disney, but I'm pretty sure it's on Disney. But yeah, so that's my B movie. I'm looking forward to it. I already watched it once, but I'm currently gonna watch it again um, to refresh myself and to pick out. I think I have the scene already picked out that I want to mimic in my square for the next time. But uh, I'm probably gonna watch it again just to get it like refreshed in there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that one. So I'm gonna try to keep my colors bright, but doing family friendly movies, they're probably going to be bright anyways because they're usually bright and cheery movies. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited about that. I already have some ideas for some of my other alphabets. And, like, The Big Green, I was wanting to do movies I've never seen before. I have seen that before, even before yesterday. But I was like a kid. It was in the 90s when I watched it. I hadn't watched it all the way until now. So, it was like watching a brand new movie. I didn't even remember the plot. <laughs> so, it was a lot of fun uh, re-watching it. So, I'm, I'm counting that as a new movie because the last time I watched it, I was like under 10 <laughs> and I don't remember uh, anything from it so there'll probably be some more movies that pop up and who knows I might throw in some of my favorite movies if I'm getting hard uh, having a hard time um finding the right alphabet but yeah so that's my my movie and stitch first project and I like it a lot I highly suggest watching this five star ready <laughs> see my plan was I was hoping these would lay flat I'm gonna have to um starch them or something maybe and um I was going to put like a, a dowel or something so I could hold it out, but uh, it'll make an appearance in two weeks in the B-Movie one, and I'm going to try to um, fix it a little bit, make it a little bit <laughs> better looking, but yeah, so uh, I would love to know if you guys are uh, tagging along during this with us, and feel free to share your projects uh, over on my Facebook group, or if you want to make a video, go ahead and uh, we'll all watch it. Just make sure if you do make a video, put the hashtag, which is a pound sign, movie and stitch, uh, on on your video so that it will pop up when people look that up on YouTube and then every time I look it up like every few days and I add all the new videos onto that playlist so um, so that they're all kind of in one place but yeah so join along with us if you want to and uh, share pictures over on the Facebook group if you want because I'd love to see them <laughs> and uh, let us know what movies you're watching some people have been making some really cool projects and um, it's really interesting <laughs> to see all the different things people are doing. And a lot of people are picking horror movies. And um, I do love horror movies. Me and Devin love them a lot. We, My favorite, like, um, series of horror movies is The Conjuring and all of the movies connected to that. So that's The Conjurings, uh, The Nuns, The Annabelles. Is that all of them? My neighbor's walking really heavy. <laughs> but I love those, and I love the Insidious movies. Even though I don't really think they're horror movies, because once you watch, when you first watch them, they're kind of scary, but then when you watch the next one, you realize, why wow, the past, the back one was scary, and it makes it not so scary. But, uh, yeah, and I love all old classic horror movies. I love anything from, like, the 80s and beyond. I just love them old, like, crappy <laughs> horror movies. Uh, I watch them all the time. Um, Amazon Prime has a ton of uh, older movies on there. And YouTube actually has a ton of really old ones on there that you can watch for free. So uh, I just love horror movies. And I love romance movies. And I like rom-coms, um, rom like romantic comedies and just comedies. But I'm real picky with my comedies because I don't like raunchy comedies. Um, and that's just my personality, you know. I don't like to watch gross things. And I don't want to watch like dirty perverted jokes like like Devin likes the American Pie movies and I don't really like them because they're adult humor and I I would rather have just funny humor <laughs> and not the adult jokes but um yeah I do love some uh like 
I, the the worst ones that I can think of that I like are like the Adam Sandler original movies. His newer movies aren't that bad because he's changed a lot since he had kid <laughs> kids. I don't know if he has multiple ones, but like his older movies, they're kind of raunchy but not horribly raunchy. But yeah, yeah, that's tangent. I pretty much like any movie. <laughs> I love westerns and I love musicals and I love uh, pretty much every kind of movie. I think I can watch pretty much anything. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just babbling now, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and get these edited. I got two videos to edit today. And uh, I'm going to have to edit this one a lot because I kept spacing out. <laughs> but that's okay. Anyways, I will see you guys in a couple weeks with my B-movie update and my C-movie announcement. And uh, check out everybody else's. I'll link the playlist and everything below so you can check it out in the description box. Bye, guys.